Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be showing you some of the things I got whenever I went back to school clothes shopping. So, let's just go ahead and get right into it. So, the first place I went is to Gap. Almost everything was marked down. Like, actually everything was marked down. Either um, 50, 40, 30, or 20 percent off. Most things were 50 to 40, which is awesome. So, the first thing I got was actually this, um, like vest, this uh, jean jacket vest. It is so cute. Um, I absolutely love it. I've been looking for something like this for a while, but everything was just so expensive. This was only around, it was cheaper than $30. I think it was $27. And that is actually a really good price compared to most of them. Most of them are like $60. And I just thought it was so, so cute. It is so adorable, and I absolutely love it. I will also let you guys know that if you guys want to see me wear the, wearing these things, because a lot of these things I do um, wear in my back to school lookbook. It was a collab with Melissa Ann that I uploaded on Wednesday. So if you guys want to check that out, I will link that down below because a lot of this stuff I do wear in that video. So the next thing I got was, it was the Gap outlet, not the like actual Gap store because we went to a lot of outlet malls and so it was the Gap outlet that we went to. So I got this really cute t-shirt dress. It has like a little pocket right here. Um, this was around 15 to $17. It was very, very cute. I absolutely love this color like on my skin. It makes my skin look so much better. Um, and it's just a coral and white um, striped t-shirt dress. I think it is so adorable and I just I had to have it because it was so cute. The next thing I got were these white jeans. They're actually like meant to be skinny jeans, like kind of like jeggings. Um, and they're actually supposed to go all the way down, but they don't go all the way down on me because they are a size regular and so they look more like a cropped type of legging to me because I am 5'10". Um, and they did have a couple of long jeans, but I just really didn't like the way that they looked and they didn't have very many. I think they only had like two long like styles of jeans and I didn't like them. So I went and got these because this was on clearance and they ended up only being around $20. So I thought that this were just really cute. They do have a couple of holes in them, and I just think that that's so cute. I absolutely love white jeans. So the next thing I got were these um, like capri legging type shorts. They're actually like a little bit longer than capris. Um, shorts. Shorts, yeah, they're shorts. Um, capris, and they are just like a very cute style. I absolutely love them. I have never owned a pair of like styled um capris like this. I've never owned like any kind of style leggings and I thought that they were just really really cute. They were around $20 um, which is kind of expensive in my opinion for like leggings and stuff but I just really really liked them and I never had a pair like this so I thought that it was like a must have because I really like them. And then the next thing I got is this gray top. It is kind of like a tunic style so it is a little bit longer than like a normal t-shirt and so I thought that this would be really cute to wear with leggings and it actually looks really good with the white jeans as well. And I just thought it was really really cute. This was $12. So I thought it was really adorable and it's really comfortable. And then I did go to Kmart a couple of weeks ago and I usually never find any clothes at Kmart. Like usually never or like really anything at Kmart. But usually I never find clothes because it kind of looks cheaply made and feels cheaply made. But I was like pleasantly surprised with these t-shirts. Um, they're so soft and comfortable and they just, they're so cute and they do not feel cheap at all. They feel like really nice and like not really expensive but like good quality. Like really good quality t-shirts. So the first one is a black and white. This is from the Joe Boxer brand. Um, so the first one's black and white striped, and it's just very nice and flowy and pretty. And these were on sale for $5.99 at my Kmart. Um, they're regularly $9.99, and I just thought that they were really, really cute. And I just really love them. And then I also got a coral one like that as well. And I've actually wore the coral one before. I've, the coral one's the only one I wore. And they are, it's just like really, really comfortable. I absolutely love them. I can't recommend these enough. They're so comfortable and soft and just so pretty. And then I got um, the V-neck style, and they're just really nice and flowy. And then this is like black and white striped, and it has like a little pocket on the side, and they're just really nice and flowy. I think I've said that like 17 times, but they're just really nice. I like them a lot. Um, and then I got a black one. I wore this one as well, and it's just so soft, and it didn't fade. At, I, I know, well, I have such a hard time with like black shirts fading, black t-shirts, black 
like v-necks like this they fade so so easily on me I don't know what it is but they just fade so easily um, and this one didn't fade at all because it has been washed and it like didn't fade at all it may look like it's been faded but it's not and it was just really really cute and I thought it would be really cute with those capris that I showed you so I really really like them they're just so comfortable and I absolutely adore them and then I went to Victoria's Secret um, the pink store not Victoria's Secret the actual like pink store you know what I'm saying and then I got this sweatshirt this was $29.99 and I just got this sweatshirt. It has like, you know, the turquoise and lime green color on it. And I just thought it was really cute. And then I got the pants to match. The pants is actually what I wanted. And then my mom talked me into the sweatshirt since it matched it. And these were $27.99. And they are just black. And then it has like the little um, pink. And then it also has like the colors right here. And then it also has the colors on the pocket in the back. And I feel like you can never have too many sweatpants. I mean, it's really hard for me to spend $30 on a pair of sweatpants. I would never, ever in a million years buy them full price because 60 bucks, they're like $54. $55 for a pair of sweatpants is crazy. Like, downright crazy. $30 for a pair of sweatpants is crazy to me, but I still do it. I don't know why, but it's still crazy to me. I hate doing it. Um, also, I want to let you guys know that I actually really, really like the Victoria's Secret brand sweatpants. Not the pink brand, but the Victoria's Secret brand. I bought one pair, or I got one pair last year for Christmas, and I absolutely love them. Um, the, you can't get the pink in size longs, but you can get the Victoria's Secret brand sweatpants in longs. And I think that that is amazing because it is so hard for me to find sweatpants that are actually long enough for me because I am 5'10", and so it's really hard. Okay, and then I got this tank top. It says exercise extra fries. And then this was only $10.99, and I just thought it was really cute. And I totally me because, you know, extra fries. And then I got these little t-shirts for my, you know, nieces. They're not really my nieces. They're my best friends slash cousins babies. And they were just so cute. Uh, one is five, and then the other one is almost six months old. And so I got this best niece ever t-shirt for the five-year-old. And then I got the best niece ever t-shirt, the matching one, in the almost six month one, the almost six month old one. And they're actually gonna have their pictures taken. And she actually asked me if I would like to be in them. And so yeah, and she wants them to wear these and um, then I'm going to get like a best aunt ever t-shirt made. So I thought that was really awesome and I'm honored to be a part of it. And then I went to Holster and they had um, some good sales going on on like their clearance and stuff. And this was $12.99. It's very similar to the last t-shirt I showed you from Gap. But that's okay because I really, really love gray. And so this is kind of like a v-neck style one. And this one isn't that long compared to the other one. This one is more like a flowy, flowy top. Where that one is flowy, but it's also like really long. And then this one is more like an actual t-shirt. And I thought that it was just really cute. It has like a v-neck and it's so soft. It's like super soft. And then I got this long sleeve shirt. I usually can never find anything in Ulster because I feel like it just doesn't look right on me. Um, I used to love, love Holster growing up in high school, but now I just feel like I can never really find anything for me. And so this is just a long sleeve top. It is very nice and flowy and long. And then it has this open back right here, which I love tops that are open back. Love them. And then probably what I was most excited to get, because I absolutely love army green. Like, I, I love the color, like, in clothes, not just, like, in general. But I, like, love army green, like, wearing army green clothes. I think they're so cute. And so I got these um, jeans. They're, I think they're actually meant to be like skinny jeans, but um, because I'm so tall, um, they're actually more of a crop jean to me. Um, and they do have like these holes right here, and I think that they are just so cute, and I absolutely love them. I've been like searching for a pair of these for like my whole entire life, and I could never find one that I actually liked. And they're actually showing up a little bit lighter on camera than what they actually are. Um, but I absolutely love them, and they're just they're fantastic. These were also $30, because they had their jeans on sale for $29.99, and then I believe they had their men's jeans on sale for buy one, get one 50% off. So, yeah. And then next up is American Eagle. I got the, I think you've seen this one in a video. They, it is just like an army green and white striped, very flowy 
um, t-shirt and I absolutely love it. Like I said, I love army green. And then the next one is a maroon colored one. It's maroon and white striped. And again, they're very flowy and I love flowy tops. And then the next one is this plaid button up. I think it's meant to be like really super wrinkly. I don't really like that, but I think it's meant to be super wrinkly, but I'm still probably gonna iron the wrinkles out because I just don't really like wrinkles. I don't know what it is. But, so yeah, um, I got this one. I think it is so cute. I love plaid button-ups, love them. And then we went to the Under Armour outlet, and um, this is actually a men's hoodie because I don't really like the women's one, just because I feel like they're tighter and they're not as long. They're kind of like shorter, and so they kind of look too short for me since I am 5'10". I know I've literally said I'm 5'10", like 17 times in this video. If you guys like want to turn this into a drinking game, you totally could because I've literally said I'm 5'10 like 17 times in this video. And you'd probably be drunk by the end. Um, that was kind of inappropriate. I'm sorry for my younger viewers. <laughs> sorry. Um, so yeah, I got this Under Armour hoodie. It is longer than like the women's ones because like the women's ones are like so short. I just said that, but I'm going to say it again. Um, so yeah, this one's in men's. This was, I think I got it for 30 something. I don't see a tag anywhere at all. Oh yeah, it's because they couldn't, the tag fell off. Um, but I'm pretty sure it was like 30 something. I think it was like actually $30 even. And I thought that that was a really good price because the regular Under Armour hoodie, blah, 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 blah. The regular Under Armour hoodies are like $54 and that's expensive. Okay, and then the next thing I got were these Under Armour shorts. I actually have a pair exactly like this, but they were on sale for $15, and I just got a size up because, you know, um, the other ones don't fit me the way I would like them to. So I got a size up so that they would fit me better, and I wouldn't feel so, um, you know, like a busted can of biscuits when I wear them. So I got a bigger size of these, um, you know, so that I don't feel huge. Um, and they were only $15, which I think is a really good deal because they're regularly $24.99. So that's $10 off. And then, let me bend down here and get these tennis shoes. I got a pair of tennis shoes. These are in men's as well as like the hoodie, you know. These are in men's. They're a size 8 in men's. Um, I usually wear a size 9 in women's. And I thought that it was two sizes down. But these actually fit pretty well for being a size 8 in men's. And they also didn't have a size 7, so I was going to give them no matter what. Um, and so I just thought that these were really, really cute. We went to the Nike outlet, that's where I got these from, and these were $80, which um, I think is a really good price considering a lot of the Nike tennis shoes are like $120, and that is crazy to me. I'm not going to spend $120 on a pair of tennis shoes, but I would spend them to $80 which is still really expensive for a pair of tennis shoes, but I feel like I get the use out of tennis shoes. I have a ton of tennis shoes, like I really do, but I am like very, I'm not like hard on tennis shoes, like my brother is, like bad, like he goes through a pair of tennis shoes in like less than six months, so does TJ, like it's awful, but I am like really, really good on tennis shoes. Like I said, these were men's, and I thought that they were really, really cute, and I absolutely love them. And they're just like a gray and then white color. And I just think that they're so cute. And I feel like they look girly to me. I like really like the style of like the Nike like 5.0 um, tennis shoes. But I feel like they look kind of girly to me. So I'm not really sure like I've never seen a boy wear these type of tennis shoes before. But I feel like they kind of look girly to me. So I really like them a lot. And then I also went to Sephora and I got two of, hold on, I got to get the bag off. And I got two of the Urban Decay Vice lipsticks. These are $17 each. So I actually spent the $17, which I hate to spend that much on lipstick. But they're just so beautiful. Like, these are so beautiful. The colors are amazing, and I want every single I want every single one. Every single one of them. So the first color I got was Snitch. And this is, like, the sheer version. Like, the sheer formula. Um, and I have this on my lips today. I, like, have a very, very light layer, so you can't really tell the color. Um, also, I want to mention that I am not, like, a, the biggest fan of the, um, packaging. I like the, like, Revolution packaging better than I like this. I don't like how it, like, comes all the way down. I wish it was, like, actually, like, like the other ones. You know what I mean? Like, how they were, like, kind of, like, the same size a little bit. So I don't like how it comes all the way down. I do like the color of it but I wish that they looked like the other one because I feel like this is harder to get open. 
And so this is just what the color looks like. You totes can't tell. It looks like a coral color in the packaging, but because it's sheer, it kind of um, is like a little bit of a, like a glossy look to it. Your totes not going to be able to see this. This is just what it looks like. It has like a corally tint to it. And it's just really, really pretty. And like I absolutely love it. And I absolutely love the formulation of these lipsticks. They like stay on for like a really long time. And they're just really pretty. And then the other color I got was in Rapture. I think that this would be like a really gorgeous color um, for the fall time. It's like a, it's just so pretty. It's like a very like plummy shade. And I just think it's really gorgeous like that so this is rapture and then this is snitch and I just think that they are so adorable like I just think that they're so cute I love them so yeah um, I do recommend the vice lipsticks because the formula is like really awesome um, I really like the revolution the um, like the old formula in the revolution formula like the words they're so difficult I really like the revolution lipstick formula but then I also really like these I think that they're both really really good I don't really like one any more than the other because they both stay on my lips like really long time but I do really really like the vice lipstick colors like they have like such beautiful colors I absolutely love the colors so yeah that is it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed this like little clothing haul um, and like I said like also back to school shopping like back to school clothing shopping and school supplies it's like my favorite time of the year like one of my favorite times of the year I just love I don't know what it is but there's like just something like awesome about buying back to school clothes and school supplies I love it um, but yeah that is it for this video like I said before if you guys would like to check out some of these pieces like actually being worn on my body um, just check out my back to school lip book that went up on Wednesday just check that out because a lot of this stuff I am wearing in it so yeah thank you guys so 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 much for watching also please subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you are excited for school but then if you're also sad so I'm excited for school to start but then I'm also like really 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 sad because you know I only had two weeks off since I did take summer classes and so I'm, I'm like really sad but I'm actually really excited about it. So yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you are as well. And I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.